Hey, it's Phil with Ghost Hole Real Estate Group, powered by EXP. We are in Phoenix today. Kevin, where exactly are we at? 7407 West Wood Street in Phoenix, Arizona. Before heading inside, let's go take a quick look at the location. Okay, let's talk about this part of Phoenix a little bit. This used to be all cornfields and farmland, then the new 202 comes about. Yeah, you remember how long it used to take to get down here? Now the 202, like from this house to Chandler is like 20, 25 minutes, it's really quick. Cuts your time in half, especially when you're driving. Not only did the new 202 kind of blow this place up, ton of shopping now. They finally got the shopping they were all asking for. So behind us is a Walmart. You can't miss the big blue and yellow sign behind us. But you got Chase Bank, you got BMO Harris so for your financial needs. You got your Burger King, your Del Taco, Long Wongs if you want your chicken wings, <laughs> uh, Subway. They're all located here. And if you need to get some car parts, you got AutoZone as well. Nice. And the best part about all the shopping, it's less than a mile away from the house. Yep. And there's a ton of new building going on still. Absolutely. This is all less than a mile. The, the new 202 is mile and a half as well. Yeah, everything's so close. They're still building down here. It's still expanding, which means that they're going to add more shopping, more conveniences for you. All right, Kevin, let's talk about the specs. Well, it's a two-story house, two-car garage, 2,929 square feet. Awesome. Now we're right in front of a huge upgrade in the uh, staircase. What can you share with that? Yeah, right when you walk in the home, you have this staircase with the wrought iron. It gives the open look. This was definitely an upgrade. It would have been a solid wall as the base model, but with this wrought iron open look, it just makes it feel more grand. We are here in this beautiful upgraded kitchen. It's an open kitchen concept. What are some of the upgrades? <laughs> Other than the cat? Other than the cat. <laughs> okay. well, the kitchen's been completely remodeled uh, right before this client bought it. So probably about four or five years ago, it was completely remodeled, which is pretty rare because this is an 06, 07 built home time period. So, you know, normally that would be a little early on it, but you know, say it was done. The island has been upgraded, it's oversized. You've got the walk-in pantry behind me, as well as the black finished stainless steel appliances. Those have all been upgraded as well. Awesome, and then there's also the can lighting and new fixtures. In the family room now, Kevin, again, more upgrades. Yep, kitchen flows into, into this area. You've got the upgraded flooring as well as crown molding throughout. And behind us, that beautiful fireplace has been finished. It's perfect for entertaining. And another big ticket item too is that it does not feel small or scrunched up. It doesn't, it, you know, with the nice big oversized back sliders, that's an upgrade as well in this property. Yeah, they've just gone all out. All right, before heading upstairs, what are some of the features the downstairs has? You have the oversized downstairs laundry room. It's not a pass-through, like from the garage. It's its own little independent space, a half bath, formal dining that we're standing in right now, as well as a formal living room. Finally, let's talk about bedrooms and baths. Yeah, I was teasing you by not telling you <laughs> that. There's currently three bedrooms, two and a half baths in the home. However, two of the bedrooms have been opened up and they can easily be converted back into two separate bedrooms. So this is easily, with a cost of maybe $500 or so, could go back to being a four bedroom house. Nice, now as far as the bedrooms go, they're all upstairs, correct? Yes, they're all upstairs. We're standing in the master right now with its own beautiful remodeled master bathroom. All right, with the master bathroom, what are some of the big ticket upgrades here? You get the separate shower and tub. You get the newer vanity with the double sinks, the mirrors, the fixtures, all taken care of. And a nice walk-in closet. So this is rare, not just one loft, but they have two lofts. So this first loft is set up at like a home office. So really cool, it overlooks the front entranceway. Nice, and the second loft? Well, let's go show them. Awesome. And this is the second loft. They have it set up as an exercise area. All right, let's talk about the floor plan a little bit more. So with this particular loft, it actually kind of makes a little bit more of a split floor plan with the two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. It does. So from where the other loft and the master are, there's a full bathroom in between. Then you come over to this loft and where they have it set up as an exercise area where you have the one bedroom on the one side, the other bedroom completely across the hall on the other side. So split by the loft. And the one bedroom, like I mentioned before, can be converted back into two bedrooms 
very easily maybe $500 total with some 2x4s in drywall. It's, a, it's not an expensive uh, changeover. All right, let's talk about how this house can save the potential buyers not only money, but also energy and whatnot. Yes, so as you know, or may not know, there are approximately 720,000 homes in Arizona with solar panels on the roof. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> All right. I said you may or may not know. So this home not only has the panels, but they've gone to the next step in technology with these battery packs. So the way a normal solar system will work is that whatever you're not using just automatically feeds back into the grid, back to the power company. Well, the way this system's set up is that it's not sent back to the power company. It goes into these storage battery packs instead so that during the night when your panels aren't collecting energy from the sun, uh, you get to use off of these. So it's going to save you additional money over what a traditional solar panel system would. Wow. Now, we're, not only are the solar panels on the house, there's actually the AC units are newer as well. Correct. So the AC units were also replaced last year with brand new ones. And these were Pearl certified. Most people are going to go, what the heck is Pearl certified? And as of a couple of weeks ago, I would have been in the same boat. But what that simply means is that they've been rated by a third party, an independent third party that's certified that these are ranked in the top 2% of efficiency in AC units. Now, all of this simply means if you live in Arizona, this is gonna save you a ton. It, absolutely. Like if you see their power bills, which I will include in the documents tab at the MLS, so ask your agent. But if you check in there, you'll see how significantly lower their bills are for another 2,929 square foot home. All right, let's go over the backyard. Let's start off here with the RV gate. Okay, we're on the right side of the house. So this has poured concrete going to an RV gate with poured slab behind. So I had the owner move their truck and trailer, but they do fit a truck and trailer all the way on this side. It's a perfect little setup for people that have the work vehicles, want to store their ski doos or sea doos or whatever, they can all fit on this side. A huge benefit too is that you don't really see the RV pad with the cement. A lot of times it's like either dirt or rock yeah. back here. Yeah, because well, concrete's expensive. So this is another upgrade that the next owner's not even gonna have to worry about. So a lot of times when we go over sheds, they're the ones that you get from Home Depot. This mm -hmm. one's not your typical Home Depot or low shed. Yeah, I'd even say this is a step above like a tough shed. So this one was site built. It's got the poured concrete floor, the electricity run to it, and it's about a 10 by 10 building. Matches the home, HOA approves, so you don't have to worry about that. But another way to save the next person a lot of money on this because you're talking that these now to be built with contractor prices, you're in the five figures on this easily. All right, three more spots in this beautiful backyard. Spot number one, where are we at? We're at the fire pit, fireplace, I guess, not fire pit, because that'd be a hole. <laughs> this is a hole in a wall type thing. <laughs> so fireplace area. And on a nice cool day like today, what do you want? I know I want a fire. Well, that plus another big ticket item, it's, it's a good gathering spot too. It's like perfect. And you know, I joke around, but there's several gathering spots out here. This is just one of them. All right, spot number two with the fire pit. Yeah, if you don't like your fireplace, go to the fire pit area. That's where we are right now. It's got this nice little pergola area that we're sitting underneath. So this is not your standard pergola that you can get like at Costco or Sam's Club. This is actually a legit pergola. We actually level this one up and call it a Ramada. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pour concrete. As you can see, plenty of room for people to sit. There's a built-in barbecue area behind you. And then also, let's not forget that that huge patio on the back of the house too. So this is an entertainer's dream yard. All right, thank you so much for joining us today at this beautiful house in Phoenix. Kevin, if they wanna set up a showing, what's the easiest way to do that? We make it super simple. You can call us at 480-305-6688 or go to our website, gosoldhomes.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have questions about buying or selling, let us know. And until next time, have a great day.